Alrighty, so in this problem, guys, this is a Boyle's Law problem, and the way that I know that is that I'm dealing with pressure and volume. I'm changing pressure and volume in this problem and nothing else. So again, Boyle's Law is P1, so my first pressure times its volume equals P2 times V2. Okay. And so if I go through and do this, it says synthetic diamonds can be manufactured at a pressure of 6.00 times 10 to the fourth atmospheres. Fun fact. If we took two liters of a gas, so automatically, guys, that's where I'm starting. So I'm going to say my V1 equals 2.00 liters. Okay. If I took that amount of a gas at a pressure, so at P1 is 760 millimeters of mercury, and compressed it to a pressure of 6.0 times 10 to the fourth, that's to make my diamond, so that's my new pressure. And notice, just to let you know, I'm in atmospheres right now, and one of my pressures in millimeters of mercury in another. So that's not gonna work out. I'm gonna have to convert one of them so that they have the same units of pressure, okay? What would the volume of the gas be? So I don't, I'm trying to find my volume, my V2, okay? So I'm just gonna do it really quickly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm gonna convert the 760 millimeters of mercury into atmospheres, okay? So I'm gonna crisscross swoosh. Now, if you recognize the fact that 760 equals one atmosphere, awesome, go ahead. You don't even need to show your conversion, but if you don't, make sure to write out your crisscross swoosh yeah, it's a pain, but it's nice to know that you won't mess up with units. One atmosphere equals 760 millimeters of mercury. Therefore, my P1 is actually just one atmosphere. All right, now my pressures are in the same units. So now I can actually get to plugging in my numbers and chugging along. So my P1, we had said, was one atmosphere now that I've converted it, times my V1, which is um, 2.00 liters. My P2, and honestly guys, the order in which you, you do these, like if you wrote the two before the one, that's fine, it doesn't matter. My P2 is 6.00 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. And I'm going to multiply that by my V2. So what I'm going to have to do math-wise, I'm going to take this times that and then divide both sides by the 6 times 10 to the 4th. And as I'm writing this out, I like to just think in my head what, an what kind of an answer would make sense. Since I'm severely increasing my pressure, guys, from 1 atmosphere to 6 times 10 to the 4th, I should get a volume that's much, much smaller. And if you don't get a volume that's much, much smaller, then you probably did something wrong. Okay. Alrighty. So I've got 1 times 2 divided by, make sure that this 6.0 times 10 to the 4th, you put in parentheses if you're going to write times 10 to the 4th, because if you have multiplication in the denominator, you've got to put it in the denominator. You've got to, sorry, put it in parentheses. So the V2 I get, guys, is 3.333333 times 10 to the negative 5th, which makes sense. It should be super small. This has two sig figs, this is three sig figs, this is three sig figs, therefore I should have three sig figs, so it's going to be 3.33 times 10 to the negative fifth. My original volume was in liters, so therefore this is in liters as well. And that's my answer. All right, that's all there is to it.